what's up guys so i've been following this story uh stevie knight versus hunter avalon now i think i've just now gotten enough information so that i can go ahead and give my thoughts and opinions on this you know what i'm saying so it looks to me like hunter avalon's position is that the social expectation of men should not be that you need to be like in control 24 7 or can't you know do certain things because that's feminine right uh and i agree with that like that's just the way it is um that social expectation is wrong uh you know with a topic like this i think what you have to do you have to put it in the simplest terms possible okay uh we are all human beings and with that we all have emotions we all have feelings we all have certain things that would trigger and upset somebody you know what i'm saying everyone has certain uh hot button issues you know what i'm saying i would say the true test of whether or not you're showing emotion in a a positive way is to look at whatever situation you're dealing with at the time okay uh one example i'm going to give you guys let's say that a man's wife was that something happened to her right and the cops being on the scene they don't know exactly what had happened right they're still like doing their investigation so what they're going to be looking for is any type of red flags in that husband's persona right like is he stone-faced the whole time is he showing emotion in a adequate way or is he showing too much emotion is he like overreacting to it you see what i'm saying but if uh if a man if your wife is has something really bad has happened to her and you're just stone-faced like there's nothing wrong and you're just kind of you know oh yeah this happened that happened and then you know they're gonna wonder they're gonna be like well there's no like this is not an appropriate response to the situation that this person is in right now like he should be emotional he should be you know maybe not necessarily crying but even if he was then they would say you know if it looks legitimate like he's not just like trying to put on a show because that's definitely going to be a red flag and that's something that they're trained to look for but if they say you know the uh the husband was in tears laying on the ground crying they're not going to say oh he was being weak he was not really being a masculine man and dealing with the situation no like they're going to say uh husband was distraught obviously see what i'm saying they're going to say and of course and i'm talking right now about someone being authentic right because they had this wasn't something that they did so them being distraught and crying and and just like being shattered there's nothing wrong with that it's expected you know what i'm saying or at least for the most part everyone is going to deal with trauma in different ways so for some people they get the stone face they just kind of they 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 get in shock and then they just kind of sit there that's what i do a lot of times not always you know but sometimes i just kind of space out and then you know 
kind of like I disassociate from the problem. Uh, you know, but it, like I said, it's all in each person's going to deal with situations in a different way. You know what I'm saying? So, so that's one aspect of it right there. So, of course, in that instance, the expectation isn't that, well, you should be a man and in control of your emotions. Obviously, that's not the case because that could start putting up red flags. Then they're going to think, maybe we need to take a closer look at this guy because something's not right. So, obviously, that doesn't apply to that situation right there. But one of the most common situations that was brought up here was a relationship type, you know, situation. A uh, husband has a hard day at work, comes home, gets emotional, starts crying. And then the social expectation is that he can't show his emotion in front of his wife. Like he has to you know, go outside in the car and cry for a while, then come back in and then pretend like nothing's wrong. Like, that's what he's supposed to do. Like, he's not supposed to show uh, any type of vulnerability in front of his wife because then, like, she'll start thinking, well, he's not really a, a man. He's a, a baby. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, that's the... That's apparently... Social expectations of men is that. But is that accurate? Is that really what the expectations should be? Okay. I'm going to say no. I'm going to say, if anything, that should be a good thing. That should be a positive thing that he feels comfortable enough with his wife or whoever it is that he's not worried about looking a certain way and really what we need to get to a point is to say you know what if a woman's going around saying my husband showed emotion about something he was having trouble with and because of that now i don't have any respect for him the social expectations of her should be you need to grow up it's that simple there's nothing wrong with the man that showed emotion in front of you the problem is that your immature uh reasoning behind you now thinking this certain way that men are supposed to be in control of their emotions at all times is the one that is going to come over and see the cops talking to someone she knows and he's laying on the ground crying when his wife just died and then she's going to say oh you're being a baby just suck it up and deal with it like that's what she would have to if she would keep now of course She's probably not going to say that because at that time she would realize, okay, this is, uh, you know, this is expected. You know, God's wife just died, so of course he's going to be distraught. But you see, when when her husband came home and was distraught and crying, and she, you know, didn't know exactly what had happened. Like, he could have witnessed one of his friends uh, dying in a machine accident. Like, she doesn't know. You see what I'm saying? Even if she thinks she knows, she might not know all of the other circumstances around it that made it more traumatic for her husband. So she would have rushed to judgment without fully comprehending the entire situation. Now, so I, I think that should explain quite a bit about Hunter Avalon's perspective. I agree with that. Stevie Knight's perspective is that from, from what I'm gathering here, for anyone to always be on victimship, to always uh, feeling sorry for yourself, 
to like any time things get just a little bit hard you're just why is it always me why is you know woe is me kind of thing i just give up i'm just not even going to try anymore you know i'm just going to sit on the couch and watch tv you know i'll go and, and try to get on welfare i'll try to go get on this or get on that i'm you know things don't work out so why even bother right i i think that's where stevie knight was that was the situation that he was trying to shine a light on okay totally understandable it goes without saying you know so that was the miscommunication there i think between these two uh but stevie knight did bring up a few things that i think well no because i th i think stevie knight's uh thing was that he was saying you know the situation is bad because social expectations of men is that you're supposed to be masculine you're supposed to bury all those emotions down deep and ignore it and move past it you know and uh and not show it at all and what he's saying is that uh because you know like instead of saying let's change the social expectations of men so that it doesn't put men up on this high freaking pedestal but let's take men and say this is the expectation so in order to you know not make yourself even worse by saying man i can't even do this i can't do that or else i'm going to be viewed a certain way instead of saying that he's saying you know just go with the norms just just do what the the expectation says you should do so that you're not viewed a certain negative way so he's got the right point but the solution i think he's he's a little off on the solution right um because so I, the the solution that's where there's a disconnect that's the only disconnect i'm i'm thinking there really is it's about the solution what is the right uh way to handle these types of situations i say uh, work on changing the social expectations we are not up on pedestals we do have emotions we do have struggles we do have you know we can have depression just like anybody else we can have anxiety just like anybody else there is no like inherent toughness that's supposed to be there we're all human beings we're all flawed okay 100 percent. we all have uh weaknesses and we all have strengths it's going to be different for each individual person but every person's going to have strengths and weaknesses okay and part of having a brain and having emotions you know having certain uh hot button issues goes right along with that so this is part of being human it's not part of being a woman or being a man or anything else for that matter you know what i'm saying so i think i've explained this aspect of it pretty clear i, I think so y'all let me know what y'all think but we're not done yet because there's one other issue we're going to get to a big issue we're going to get to all right and that is the fact that hunter avalon uh was a freaking snake a snake in the grass it's that simple all right what stevie knight said all right was that 
you didn't tell me before we got on stream that you had made a horrible video about me and calling me all these types of names because that would have totally changed the dynamic, right? And then he's saying, oh, I wasn't being dishonest. I didn't say I, I agreed with everything you were saying or anything like that. No, you have omitted all of that pertinent information. Okay, that's what he did. He got him on camera under false pretenses that they were going to have a reasonable discussion. You can't, like, once you start throwing out these types of insults, right, you're not going to have a reasonable discussion after that. That doesn't work. So, what he's got to realize once he did that, he destroyed any possibility of having any progress made. Like, let's go back and think about the stream that they had before any of this uh, bad shit was stirred up. Before any of that, they had an intelligent conversation. For the most part, they were trying to come to terms, trying to come to agreement, trying to find some common ground. All positive things. Then look at the dynamic after he found that video. After that, then, as he said, the entire dynamic changed. The everything, it was a whole new ball game at that point. Because now, you've decided to run my name into the ground, right? And then throw on some clown shit. And not, you know, do any of that bullshit you did before. You're being two-faced. That's what he's saying. Just that's some clown shit right there. Like, it, it doesn't make any sense, you know? I mean, what do you expect? You go and throw insults like that at somebody, and then you expect to have a reasonable discussion with them after that? It's not going to work. You know what I'm saying? That's not, uh, that's not the way to, uh, to make any real progress. So if you're going to go around trolling people like that. You should expect to get people to come at you just like what Stevie Knight did. Exactly. What Ste the way Stevie Knight acted after that point, totally acceptable. You know, and the fact of the matter is. Hunter Avalon says, oh, we're face to face. No. <laughs> You're not face to face. Okay. You are having a discussion on the internet. So what Stevie Knight said, you wouldn't say this to my face. What he means is, if we met in person, like if we set a date and a time and a place and said, you go there, we're going to have a discussion face to face. All right, uh, then they would be face to face. That's face to face when you're actually standing in front of that person. All right, not through the internet. <laughs> you can't punch someone over the internet, but you're face to face. You could punch somebody then. So the the types of insults he was throwing, I don't think he would do that if he was actually face to face with somebody. It wouldn't be a smart thing to do. Uh, and as I've started learning, okay, uh, certain types of dialogue is actually fighting words. So, 
and which is considered incitement to violence. If the outcome is likely violence, and you use that type of language anyways, well, guess what? That's incitement to violence. Uh, that was a ruling from the Supreme Court. So I don't think anyone should be able to really argue with that too much. Like, you might be able to try, but once you actually start thinking about it, if you're going around and you're calling people names and throwing out, like, really disgusting dialogue at people, eventually, you might say that to the wrong person. They might pull out a gun and freaking shoot your ass. So, that's incitement to violence. Not saying it's okay. For that person to retaliate. Not saying that at all. It's still not okay. It's still retaliating over words. But it's at least understandable. It's at least to the point where you can say. You were still wrong. But at least there was a good reason. But it's still not okay. You can't go and just hit somebody over words. But you also can't go around using words like that towards people because it can incite violence. So that's the whole thing with that. All right. But look. I think overall. You know. This whole situation. It's on Hunter Avalon's head. It's on him. If he had not made that video and thrown out all those insults, then it, it wouldn't have had to have been over after that first stream. They could have had other conversations and actually had gotten to a point to where we can say, we both want the same thing. We both agree on everything. There you go. That's a good you know, positive dialogue here. But because he did that, it's over. It's all for, for nothing. And, and for him, I think it's all for show. That's what I think. That's what I think it is. With Hunter Avalon, uh, he thinks it's cute to uh, go around insulting people and then the joke about uh, Stevie Wonder. I'm going to tell you. That right there. Is. Uh, disgusting. Alright. Um, someone's medical conditions. I don't think it's something. That we should be able to just throw around jokes about. At any point in time. I think there's a time and a place for that. Okay. Like on Family Guy. Or something like that. To where you expect that type of dialogue to happen. Okay. But. For something like this. Or. You know just general stuff like that. To. But to throw out a joke like that. Okay. Um, I think it's, it's just, it's an awful joke, right? Like that was just dirty. That's what that was. Um, so I'm going to now look for a clip from Bill Engel. He's a comedian and I think what Bill Ingvall says on this topic, I think is the right way to go. I think Bill Ingvall um, was perfect with his evaluation of this type of situation. All right, let me go look for that real quick, y'all. All right, y'all, I actually couldn't find the clip I was looking for. Um, but essentially what he was saying was that you know, the uh, I'm the man and head of the household, you know, and he says, forget that mess. 
because when you when you let that go then you get to be a guy then you get to you know then when anything goes wrong then you can just say i'm just a guy you know what i'm saying and that right there is essentially uh what i think needs to happen essentially he's saying don't put me on a pedestal like I can do no wrong, like I'm perfect, right? Uh, that's essentially what he's saying. Uh, everyone is going to make mistakes. But when you put someone on a pedestal, like in all aspects of life, you need to be, you know, the alpha male, right? You've got to have that or else you're not really a man. When you put that on somebody... It's too much. It, it's way too much. Um, so yeah. So I think that's the direction we need to go. We need to just let go of this whole. You know. The. You know all men are supposed to be the alpha male. Or else they're not really this. Or not really that. Or, or whatever else. Uh, the social expectation. That's what's wrong. That's what needs to change. That's what needs to get fixed. It's as simple as that. Um, you know, and, and the other problem with that too is that leads a lot of women into the idea that, oh, well, he's a man, so he, it, it, whatever I do to him, it's not going to hurt you, right? Like, I can go and cheat, I can talk bad to him, I can throw insults at him. Nothing's going to phase him because he's the alpha male, right? So, you know, he, he, she's looking at him like he's a freaking robot. Like, he doesn't have any uh, feelings or, or anything like that. And that's what needs to get fixed. That's what the problem is. All right, uh, that's what I think, you know, at letting go of all that mess and trying to change the social expectation and start putting, taking everyone off the pedestals. You know, when you put people on pedestals and say they can do no wrong, they're, they're supposed to be perfect in every situation, it's, it's bogus. It really is. None of us are going to be perfect in every single situation. Now, I think it's it's better if we can handle most situations adequately. Is obviously the direction we need to go in. But having some understanding that we're all human beings and we're going to make mistakes. You know, we get thrown curveballs all the time. And eventually, you're going to start missing. I mean, that's just a given. So, um, you know, but if you put someone on a pedestal and then they start messing up, you know, then people are going to be even more critical of that person because, oh, well, you were on this high pedestal and you were supposed to do no wrong and you were supposed to do all these other things. So what happened? Start taking people off the pedestals you put them on. Realize they're human beings just like everybody else. And then things will get much better. At least that's what I think. Alright. I will see y'all in the next video. Till then, I'm out.